Yeah. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen. Close your eyes. What is it, Krista? So it's a what? It's just one boy. Okay. You want to know the money? One boy. <laughs> Not two, just one. We had a little scare, but. Uh, there's my little machine gun. Are we going to show this to our kid one day? <laughs> what you got there? I got a little <laughs> Look, it's all. Can you take this thing off road? Okay, she's back to cleaning, guys. She's just <laughs> noting this. This has been a non-stop thing. She has actually mopped this floor 40 times. No, 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 no. I have done it in sections. I started in the bedroom. I swept Don't the listen floor. to her. Trust I me, guys. Don't listen floor. to what she's saying. She I've won't stop. Husbands that have wives and y'all have kids together, I would like your input on this. I feel like if I stop, Does your wife do this the day before? Y'all have the kid. I don't know what we're having the kid at this point. I feel like it's going to be tonight or tomorrow, but it's... comment below. <laughs> Has this happened? <laughs> Currently getting Boba and Krista thinks that she's going into labor. The entire amount, so, so, even whenever it's so, so she's calling and asking and the nurse is at the hospital. How is she supposed to know? Because we don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Okay. Update. Last time we were getting Boba. Thought she was in labor. We think she's in labor. We don't know if she's in labor, but I think she's having contractions. She has rearranged the RV uh, about 65 times in the last two hours. I think we're past the nesting stage and now we're getting into the inpatient stage. And now I think she's having a contraction again. Are you okay over there? Does my belly look lower? Yes, you got a low rider. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying our hardest, guys. And we're about, we're, we're going down. We were at 30 minutes apart. Yeah, we've got to show them your tracker, babe. I got a whole tracker here in my app. So I've been just tracking them as best as I can, I think. I don't know. But we started off about an average of 30 minutes. And then we're, I think we're kind of like at like 15, 20 minutes apart now.
do you think? Are you ready? We're ever gonna be <laughs> ready as we're gonna be. <laughs> ready or not. What do what the contractions look like if they start happening on the screen? Like, what is that? <laughs> okay, guys, so we've been up since like I don't even know. I don't even think I slept last night. It's like four in the morning, five in the morning. I woke up, came to the hospital for 7 30. They scheduled an induction, which is something that Krista didn't want to do, and I don't blame her. But we are here, Krista's over there. And, uh, I think this will probably be the last thing we record. They're about to do the, some other, some okay, random so stuff. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to start with a little bit of Pitocin to just gently start the process and see where we go from there. Might update you if I'm feeling humorous. <laughs> Uh, I've been telling everybody I want to reenact the moment where the wife is like screaming in labor and the guy's eating pizza in the middle of it all. And, uh, yeah, so if that ends up as a thumbnail, it might, might have actually happened. Who knows? But can't record much more after this. Uh, but we will be back on the other side. Hopefully the next part of this video is going to be us with a little crying little baby mini me. And Krista. So, all right, guys, fingers crossed that everything goes good. So, come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river and get down on your knees. Okay, guys, so, man, it's been a long 20-something, I guess it's like almost 32 hours, something like that. It's 2.35 on Tuesday. Um, Krista has July been... July 9th? Is today July 9th? Yeah, the 9th of July. Um, Krista basically dealt with many, many, many hours, like days worth of... Uh, About 27 hours I labored with contractions, naturally, on my own, as best as I could. And um, it just got to the point where just a, like just my body was, was not progressing great. And so my OB suggested doing a, trying something else. And so I decided to go ahead and, and fell to the depths of the epidural. So I am now pain-free which is great but I tried I tried I tried so hard to go naturally it just it was it was not in my favor but I did the best I could and here we are now yeah. waiting for baby to arrive yeah so I'm I'm very proud of her it was a uh, it's hard you know for you ladies out there I've gained a whole new respect for you moms out there y'all are Y'all are real deal savages. We're weak as man. We think we're strong, but watching her go through that, it's, and I haven't even watched the main event yet. We've got a whole nother <laughs> Royal Rumble coming, um, but I think now it's all gonna actually work out. So uh, yeah, it's Tuesday, 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 mid-afternoon Tuesday, and I think he's finally gonna come today. Uh, his due date was the 1st of July. We're on the 9th now. And um, sorry we missed all your birthdays of people that wanted us to have him on your birthdays. Uh, I wanted a 4th of July baby, but that's okay. He's coming when he's supposed to. So now we're just going to sit back and wait a little bit longer, watch some Law & Order. I will eventually get to sleep. Oh, you guys were telling me I was going to lose sleep once I had a kid. 
I ain't even had no sleep before him. So, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. We'll be back in a bit. Hopefully you'll see uh, something pretty rad. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. guys we made it i should say krista made it because she is the one that did all the hard work all i did was stared at her told her i loved her she's beautiful and she's doing a great job the doctor and krista decided that the uh, necessary way to move forward was a c-section it was something that krista didn't want to have to do uh, but she did so great it was in and out really quick no complications at all the cord was wrapped around his neck twice. Yeah. So if we would have continued, like, I mean, I labored for almost over 40 yeah. hours. Like, She's a trooper, it. guys. But now we got this cute little chicken nugget. He's so adorable. We're not... We're not going to show much of them right now just because, you know, we want our privacy a little bit on it. Um, but you will be seeing a lot of them. We just wanted to kind of have our own our own moment for a second before we push him out. But that's him. Believe it or not, there's a little chicken nugget in there. Should and we, should we announce his name by Yeah, I think people should know. So we named him Miles Roman is his middle name. Uh, for all the miles that we have roamed, because Chris and I have been travelers for over a decade of our lives, and we're not gonna stop. So Miles, he was born July 10th this morning at 116. He was eight pounds, 11 ounces, and he was 22 inches long. 22 inches. Now, you guys don't know me in person. I'm six foot four, about 270 ish. I'm a pretty tall guy, and uh, Chris is like 5'9 ish, so she's really tall too. And we both have big feet, and he had big feet, uh, but he was, he's got so much hair everywhere. I guess that's why Chris always had heartburn, but. We're going to end this here, guys. We're wore out. We are tired. And the thing is, it's not even him has kept us awake as far as things go. It's actually just been like the anxiety. He has been so chill. It's like 12 o'clock on Wednesday. The video is dropping today uh, in a few hours. And uh, he is so chill. I don't think he's cried one time other than when he was just initially born. Uh, and then after that, he's just been quiet and chill and he just looks around and everything this is the coolest moment so from Krista and I we thank you guys so much I know this isn't our normal off-road stuff but you know what if you're part of our family then we want you to experience this with us from Krista and I and baby miles we love you guys so much we appreciate every one of you that has given us gifts uh, congratulated us and just shown us love throughout all this and yeah, so say goodbye.